Hello students, welcome to Target AES. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Let us conclude this topic of field astronomy. So a very simple topic which is called as time was left out in the previous two modules which I am going to finish now. But before going into that, there are a few other terms which were missed out like ecliptic, uh, water, equinox. So like the small concepts are there which can be asked in examination as well as write SSN which is quite important. We will see all these points. Okay? First one is ecliptic. So what is this ecliptic? See, so far we know that earth is revolving around the sun but in field astronomy we, are this, we were uh, seeing as if the earth is center of the universe and everything around the earth like it could be the stars, moon, sun, everything revolves around the earth. Right? So let us say this is a great circle along which the sun revolves around the earth. This great circle is called as ecliptic. Okay? So it is nothing but a great circle along which sun appears to move around the earth. In a year, what are we calling? We are calling it as ecliptic. I hope it is very clear, right? See, for a earth, let us say this is its equatorial plate. Okay? Here, let us say there is equatorial circle. So obviously, it is cutting equatorial circle at two points, right? Obviously, there are two circles passing through the center. Kahi na kahi to cut karenge. So, kahan pe cut karenge na? That points we are calling as equinoctial points. Okay, remember? So, these points are called as point of equinox also. So, whenever the sun moves from southern hemisphere to northern hemisphere, ye jab intercept karega equatorial plane, that point we are calling as first point of Aries. Remember this very important for objective purpose. What is the first point of Aries? Whenever the sun is moving from southern hemisphere to the northern hemisphere, that is the point at which it is touching this equatorial plane, we are calling it as first point of Aries. South to north is Aries, remember. So similarly, on the other side, from north to south, when it is traveling, obviously it will cut equatorial plane once again, right? So that point we are calling first point of Libra. So these two terms are very important, first point of Aries and first point of Libra. South to north hemisphere, when it is traveling, it will cut at first point of Aries. And when it is traveling back from north to south, it will cut at first point of Libra. You can see in this diagram. Okay. So now tell you, this diagram is colorful. Hai. So the circle the great circle which is actually the path of sun traveling around the earth we are calling it as ecliptic that is clear right and the point where it touches the equatorial circle right so let us say this is the equatorial circle of the earth so what is happening the point where it is touching so that is called as equinox point okay so if south se north ja hai, for example let us say it is revolving like this right so it is coming from, let us say this is north and this is south. So north is south. Jara. So this point is nothing but first point of Libra. North to south is Libra. And here it will go from south to north. So this point is called as first point of Aries. Okay. I hope it is very clear, right? These are equinox point and it has different names also. This first point of Aries is also called as vernal equinox. And this first point of Libra, it is also called as autumnal equinox. So, in examination, you can have a bit, you can expect a bit. Which of the point is considered as a vernal equinox? There will be four points and the right answer will be the first point of Aries. That means whenever the sun is trying to move from south hemisphere to northern hemisphere, the point where it touches the equatorial plane, that is your first point of Aries and that is your vernal equinox. I hope it is very clear, right? Now, what is the importance of this vernal equinox or autumnal equinox? A jo vernal equinox hai, and autumnal equinox. Nami hai equinox. Right. So, what is equal? It will have equal day and night time. Okay. I hope it is very clear, right? Agar 24 hours ka pura a complete, uh, you have 360 degrees rotation in 24 hours, then you can say 12 hours is day and 12 hours is night, something like that. I hope it is very clear, right? So, what is happening at this equinox point? The sun is exactly perpendicular. You can see this is the earth, this is the sun. The motion of the sun is exactly perpendicular to earth and at this point it will have equal day and night. 
and we are calling them as equinox point. I hope it is very clear, right? Similarly, the points perpendicular to this. Let us try to understand. Just let me erase this. Okay. So, this is your point of Aries. This is your point of Libra. Ye to clear hai na? You got this point. Now, you just draw perpendicular to this. You just draw perpendicular to this. Okay. Just draw perpendicular to this. This point, we are calling it as summer solstice. Okay. And this point, we are calling it as winter solstice. I hope it, uh, you can remember this. What is the importance of this solstice? You know what is the importance of this equinox, right? So, it is the point where the sun is moving from north to south or south to north. And this is what the sun axis of travel, right? The sun path of travel. It will be exactly perpendicular to the earth and it will have equal time, equal day and night. Now, let us talk about this summer solstice and winter solstice. See, at this summer solstice, uh, the path tracing by the sun, right? It will be exactly on Tropic of Cancer. You know the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn, right? So, on winter solstice, it will be exactly on, you will feel as if it is exactly on Tropic of Capricorn. Tropic of Capricorn. It is not that important for us in field astronomy to learn about this summer uh, solstice and winter solstice, but equinox points are very important for us. Okay? So, why equinox points are very important for us? See, let us try to understand. Let us say this is our earth. Okay. Here we have North Pole, South Pole and let us say this is our Greenwich. Okay. So, what will be this? What will be this line? This will be my 0 degrees longitude. What have I done here? See, I have taken this Greenwich on my earth as my prime meridian point. Agreed or not? We have studied this in the second module. So, Greenwich we are taking as a reference because what is the Royal Naval Laboratory hai, which is quite famous. We are considering it as the standard time for our entire earth. Right? If you want to measure any time, we measure with respect to Greenwich. Right? If you want to measure the distance of any point, we measure it with respect to this Greenwich. Agreed or not? Therefore, this is serving as a reference point or we can call this meridian, whatever is passing through this Greenwich as prime meridian, prime meridian. So, prime meridian ka matlab ye hai ki it is 0 degrees, sorry, 0 degrees longitude. I hope it is very clear, right? You know, right, longitude, latitude. So, if this is 0 degrees longitude, you, this will be some, te, sorry, not like this. Just give me a second. Let me erase this. Somewhere here, like this, like this, right? So, you know the longitudes. So, 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees total, you will be having like uh, 350, again 360 or you can call it as 0. Like that it will be. You know the longitude system, right? So, you might have studied in your school. Here. So, our prime meridian is the meridian which is passing through this Greenwich. Similarly, for celestial bodies, okay, for this celestial sphere, this is my celestial sphere, right? So, for this celestial sphere, I am choosing this first point of Aries, okay? Or vernal equinox, vernal equinox or first point of Aries as my meridian point. If I have to measure the distance, okay. So, if I have to measure the distance of any other star or any other celestial body, I do it with respect to vernal equinox, similar to that of what Greenwich is there for our earth, for our entire this uh, celestial sphere. Vernal equinox is that prime meridian point. I hope it is very clear, right? So, be careful in objective bits. If he is asking what is the prime meridian on earth, that will be our Greenwich. What is the prime meridian which we are considering for the entire celestial sphere? That will be the vernal equinox. I hope it is very clear, right? Vernal equinox is nothing but first point of Aries, where the sun is transferring from southern hemisphere to northern hemisphere of earth. I hope it is very clear, right? Yaad rakhoge. So, you will remember it, right? And not only that, in one of the civil services paper, I have seen when this equinox will come, okay? That is also quite important. So, remember the dates. So, on 21st of March, you will be getting this vernal equinox. The earth axis will be exactly perpendicular to the line joining earth and the sun, okay? In field astronomy, you have to say the sun's axis of motion will be perpendicular 
to the line joining earth and sun i hope it is very clear right this will be earth this will be sun i hope it is very clear so that is vernal equinox it will fall on 21st of march and we are calling it as first point of aries similarly we have autumnal equinox it falls on 23rd of september so what is the importance of this 21st march and 23rd september both will have equal day and night i hope it is very clear right yaad rakhoge and then we have summer solistic and winter solistic so i hope you will remember this right not at all a problem for you so ecliptic we are talking about ecliptic just now that is nothing but the great circle along with the sun travels around the earth so it is perpendicular see i have told you if this is equatorial uh, great circle our ecliptic was something like this right it touched at two different points so it is making certain angle right what is this angle you know that angle is 23 degrees 27 minutes i hope it is very clear right so a angle be aapko important hai for objective purpose what is ecliptic plane angle with equator that is 23 degrees 27 minutes and this points where it is meeting that is called as point of equinox vernal equinox and we have this autumnal equinox vernal equinox 21st march and autumnal equinox 23rd of september okay then i hope you will remember it now comes this very important thing right accession okay right accession see what is longitude longitude was just angular distance angular distance for example let us say this is equator this is my equator along this equator okay from this greenwich meridian whatever it made so we measured the angular distance right where towards the east or you can also measure towards the west and you will be get in your longitude similar to that okay so the angular distance with respect to first point of eris eris if we are talking about the entire celestial sphere so similar to that north celestial pole south celestial pole somewhere here let us say we have this first point of aries okay so this will serve as my prime meridian now and the angular distance with respect to this whatever prime meridian we have which is passing through first point of aries that angular distance we are calling it as right accession i hope it is very clear right i hope you will understand this not a problem right so if there is some celestial body here so you just okay join them and this angular distance whatever is there from our prime meridian which is passing through first point of aries and the our circle which is passing through my celestial body under observation i am calling this angular distance as right obsession i hope it is very clear for you koi problem in here right so what if it was with respect to uh, that of greenwich we used to call it as greenwich our angle i hope you remember this so greenwich our angle is nothing see if this is your prime meridian which is passing through greenwich okay so along the equatorial plane so what we are doing we are measuring a particular location if this is my particular location let us say this is my india or let us say to be precise this is delhi okay so what i am doing i am drawing another just our circle which is passing through this delhi point okay and this angular distance between my prime meridian and the our circle which is passing through delhi right what is our circle here nothing but north celestial pole south celestial pole as well as the your point of interest the point if you are talking about celestial sphere then particular star if you are talking about the earth then a particular location on earth delhi okay or if you want some chandigarh any point on our earth sphere i hope it is very clear right so this distance or this angle whatever we are measuring that will be greenwich our angle similar to that of greenwich our angle we have this right obsession if you are measuring with respect to first point of aries we will be calling it as right obsession okay so first point of aries to our our circle that is right obsession very important bit for us okay now let us talk about the times there are two important times which you have to understand one is solar time solar time and second one is side real time okay so first let us try to understand this side real time see what is happening on earth let us try to understand with a simple example virginally as per the science sun is revolve sorry earth is revolving around the sun right earth kya kar raha hai it is revolving around the sun 
वाइल इट इज रिवॉल्विंग ओके वन फुल रेवल्यूशन मारने के लिए इट टेक्स अप्रोक्सीमेटली थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव डेज वी नो इट वेरी वेल दैट इज वन ईयर सो वाइल इट इज रिवॉल्विंग इट इज ऑल्सो रोटेटिंग राइट वॉट इज हैपनिंग इट इज रोटेटिंग एज वेल एज इट इज रिवॉल्विंग यू नो दिस पॉइंट वेरी वेल बिकॉज ऑफ दिस रोटेशन रिलेटिव मूवमेंट ऑफ दिस अर्थ विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू सन इट इज कॉजिंग अस a phenomena of time because what is happening we are getting a continuous day and night right when a particular surface is facing the sun we are having a day and when this particular surface has rotated and facing somewhere else we are having the night i hope it is very clear right so what is happening there is this concept of day and night introducing us this concept of time i hope it is very clear for you as the earth is rotating as well as revolving we are getting this concept of time so now let us try to understand for a earth to rotate 365 degrees okay sorry 360 degrees one full circle maane ke liye theek hai a point to come back to its original point 360 degrees maane ke liye it takes 23 hours make a note very important 56 minutes okay so this is almost constant for earth to rotate it takes 23 hours 56 minutes isme to koi doubt hi nahi hai clear hai aapko याद रखोगे दिस 23 थ्री आवर्स फिफ्टी सिक्स मिनट्स वट एवर द टाइम द अर्थ इज टेकिंग टू रोटेट थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्रीज रिमेंबर दिस टर्म रोटेट आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट रेवल्यूशन रोटेट थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्रीज दिस वी आर कॉलिंग इट एज साइड रियल डे एंड द टाइम विच रेस्पेक्ट टू दिस इज साइड रियल टाइम ओके साइड रियल डे समझ गए ना साइड रियल डे में कितना टाइम रहेगा ट्वेंटी थ्री आवर्स फिफ्टी सिक्स मिनट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट ओके ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस काफी इंपॉर्टेंट है सी let us try to understand what is solar time now what is solar day okay we know side real day is 23 hours 56 minutes now let us try to understand the solar day sun is here okay earth let us say yahan pe the person standing here is facing the sun right for him to get to rotate 360 degrees what it means he has to face the sun again right if the earth is just rotating but not revolving just understand earth is no more revolving only rotation is happening rotation is happening so if this particular person has rotated 360 degrees with respect to the uh, sun obviously he will face the sun again agreed or not ye to clear hai aapko but what is happening here earth is not just revolving earth is not just rotating but it is also moving forward right it is also moving forward every day it is moving forward because after 365 days it will complete one full revolution and come back to that place agreed or not so what is happening the person after rotating this 360 degrees distance he will be not facing the sun okay he will be still facing something like this okay he will be short he has to rotate a bit more to face this sun again okay if we are measuring the time with respect to the sun a particular point leke for example you just draw a meridian on earth so if you want the sun to be on the top of that meridian again after the rotation that time we are calling it as a solar day that we are taking approximately as 24 hours i hope it is very clear right so let us try to understand what is happening if the earth is rotating only not revolving then for exactly 360 degrees the person who is standing on here he will be facing the sun exactly above his head but as the earth is revolving also even after moving 360 degrees this man will not be exactly below the sun okay he has to rotate a bit further kitna rotate karna padega approximately 4 minutes rotate karna padega or one dig uh, sorry just give me a second just erase this kitna rotate karna padega on each every day he has to rotate approximately 1 degree more to face the sun so 1 degree it is nothing but 4 minutes right तो फोर मिनट्स अर्थ को ज्यादा रोटेट करना पड़ेगा फॉर दैट मैन टू बी एक्जैक्टली बिलो द सन ओके आई होप इट इज वेरी क्लियर राइट सो दिस वी आर कॉलिंग हैज सोलर टाइम ओके द टाइम रिक्वायर्ड फॉर सन टू बी ऑन अ फिक्सड मेरिडियन अगेन आफ्टर ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स राइट दैट टाइम वी आर कॉलिंग इट एज सोलर टाइम ओके एंड ए सोलर टाइम जो है ना आई एम कॉलिंग इट एज ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स बट इट इज नॉट फिक्सड 
it is not fixed it depends on two important factors one is tilt of our earth okay tilt of our earth jo hai it is not fixed you might have studied in uh, this compass surveying concept right to kya rehta hai thoda badalta rehta hai we will have diurnal variation we will have seasonal variation right so it will be changing a bit as well as as well as one very important concept which you have to understand see we know very well there is certain eccentricity when the earth is revolving around the sun you know very well so because of this eccentricity along certain points we will be getting this quicker okay this solar day will be finished quicker and along the point along certain points it will be finishing little bit slow okay so two important factors decide the length of solar day okay it is not completely 24 hours even though we are taking it as average 24 hours this is called as mean solar day okay but what is happening in actuality because of the tilt of earth or because of the eccentricity we can have a time on the virginal solar time as little bit more than 24 hours or little bit less than 24 hours if you are seeing this okay so let us say this is our 24 hour line okay so along some time it is a bit more than 24 hours 24 hours uh, 2 minutes like that here it is less than 24 hours i hope it is very clear right thoda hi farak rahega zyada farak nahi rahega approximately it is 24 hours but there will be a minute difference 24 hours 1 minute whereas here it will be 20 uh 3 hours 59 minutes like that it will be i hope it is very clear right koi problem nahi hai aapko yaad rakhoge so because of this two again there is one more concept which comes as equation of time what is this equation of time it is nothing but the difference of apparent time and mean time you know what is the mean time right mean time you are taking it as 24 hours but we know apparent time right because of this uh, variation of eccentricity or Uh, tilt of our earth we are getting a time little bit more than that or less than that right so that difference we are calling it as equation of time or et just remember the definition that is uh, nothing but the time difference between the apparent time and the mean time okay so yaad rakhoge so these are quite simple topics and these are the topics which you should always remember theek hai there are some standard bits in our notes you just read the notes once and you will be more than perfect now comes the very important point from where definite questions will come which is standard time see now we are talking with respect to the earth right so what is the standard time which you take we take the prime meridian as the standard time which is passing through my greenwich so i am calling it as greenwich mean time right so that i am taking as the standard time see every point on the earth has different time compared to this standard time right agreed or not compared to this greenwich mean time every point will have its own time so what we have done is we have given lot of standard times for example india ka kaun sa hai ist hai indian standard time i hope it is very clear right see greenwich is considered as 0 degrees longitude whereas this ist which is passing through india so that is actually 82 degrees 30 minutes can you calculate what is the time difference between the greenwich which is in england and delhi which is in india can you calculate this very simple so what is the angular difference between greenwich and ist that is 82 degrees 30 minutes so what will be the time difference i have told you 1 degree is 4 minutes in the very first module i have taught you this and 1 minute is 4 seconds right so angle hai 82 degrees 30 minutes so 82 into 4 minutes and 30 degrees into 4 seconds right so 82 into 4 so that will be 8 8 4 za 32 right 328 minutes and 30 seconds into uh, 4 seconds so 30 into 4 is 120 right 120 seconds so 328 minutes and 120 seconds 120 seconds you can write it as 2 minutes so 328 plus 2 that will be 330 minutes so you can write it as 5 hours 30 minutes agreed or not so the time difference between gmt and ist is 5 hours and 30 minutes so this is a very important question a same question aa sakta hai in small examinations but in exam like esc a question can come so what is the time at a particular longitude which is 37 degrees 15 minutes away 
so you should be able to calculate okay not only this he can give you 45 seconds also like this he can give you you know what to do right so do it and get the answer okay so in the very first page i have given you how to calculate it ek bar dekh lenge first page jaake so i have taught you this right so for one degree rotation it takes approximately four minutes and for one minute that is one by fifth again this four minutes divided by 60 right so i will be getting one by 15 minutes or you can write it as four seconds right similarly one second that will be again 4 by 60 which will be nothing but 1 by 15 seconds right so using this you have to be able to tell what is the time at different points on earth okay similarly not only with respect to greenwich he can give you anything even in india okay so so even in india what is happening see india let us say this is my ist okay Arunachal Pradesh mein kuch alagi time rahega virginally but we are considering it as IST only but if we want to calculate exact local mean time okay so based on the difference of angle between IST and that particular location you can get the local mean time also okay but in India we have taken it as standard because confusion ho jayega na Arunachal Pradesh mein uh, 8 am yaha ka ho jayega 7 am so that will create us confusion so to avoid it what we have taken we have taken ist is the standard time which will be following all over india but if we want the exact time so you can do it local mean time aap derive kar sakte ho if you know what is the angular distance between these two points okay i hope it is very clear right in this question he has given us if lmt is 8 hours 12 minutes 16 seconds am and 38 degrees 45 minutes west the gmt will be at okay he is asking with respect to gmt uh, what will be the time at gmt when the local time at a particular location is so and so okay so difference of longitude given 38 degrees 45 minutes just find out what will be the time so it comes approximately 2 hours 35 minutes just try to understand one important point and we will end this so let us say this is our earth somewhere this is gmt and this is the point of reference. If it is on east, okay, let us try to understand. Sun here already hai, right? The sun rises from the east, sets in the west for earth, right? So what is happening? He is facing the sun, but this point is not still facing the sun, right? That means here the time is more, here the time is still less, agreed or not? If it is the point of consideration is on east of Greenwich, then what you have to do? You have to subtract the time. For example, let us say here time hai, uh like 11 am right what will be the time on gmt it will be something less than 11 am right 9 am or 8 am something like that i hope it is very clear right you can use your common sense and understand pehle kya hoga a point pe sun aayega uske baad yahan pe aayega right so this is having let us say sun comes at 5 am every day right you know that so let us say this is the point at which it is getting 5 am that means this point is less than 5 am, something in 3 am, abhi rati chal rahi hoa pe. As the earth is rotating, what is happening? After 2 hours, this point will reach that point of 5 am. I hope you are getting it right. So, if the point is on east of GMT, then what you have to do? If you want what is the time on GMT, you just subtract it. Right? I hope it is very clear, right? Samaj nye aagya concept. Similarly, aapko dega point on west side. If you know what is the time on west side, what to do? We should add the time so that we will be getting what is the time on my GMT. I hope it is very clear for you. Koi problem here, right? So, for example, here the time is 8 a.m. What will be the time here? It will be obviously more than 8 a.m. Let us say 10 a.m. I hope it is very clear, right? Samaj nye aagya concept. So, similarly, in some cases, the reverse question aayega. GMT will be provided to you, okay? And he will say it is on uh, east side, okay? It is on east side. And GMT time is 12 am and this angular difference is giving you 2 hours of time. What will be the time here? That will be 12 am plus 2 hours because here pe kya rahega? time zyada rahega. on east side the time will be more on west side time will be less. Remember this. Okay. So, it you have to write it as some 2 pm. I hope it is very clear right? 2 pm. Okay. I hope it is very clear. Koi problem nahi hai aapko? Galti nahi karoge? Right. So, similarly for this point let us say Again, the time difference is 2 hours. Here, how much time? 
so with respect to gmt this will be less than that so somewhere it will be 10 am okay i hope you have enjoyed this topic of field astronomy it was very simple right koi problem nahi hai na so i hope you will not do any mistake and use your common sense koi formula formula yaad rakhne ki zarurat nahi hai for local mean time all this nonsense you know what to do you have your common sense based on that you can calculate what is the time on gmt or any other point if gmt is given to you okay have a nice day see you in next module okay next module to uh, hum shuru karne wale hai som to som mein milenge